to Stars and Bars, the Archetype series. If you're new here, welcome. I'm Aubrey. This is a 12-part series briefly explaining each of the signs in the Western Zodiac. To learn more about my channel, check out the description. Before we get started, I also want to say that if you have uh, the sign that we're talking about today in your chart, and you don't feel like the traits that I'm listing apply to you, that is okay. There are infinite astrological and non-astrological variables when it comes to shaping a person. You almost certainly have more than one sign in your chart, and you've also had lots of experiences in your life and will continue to have experiences that shape who you are as a person. If you do feel this way, I do recommend looking further into your birth chart to find other signs that you have and other aspects. There's a lot to learn, but if you're just getting started and you're finding that you're hearing things that don't really seem to apply to you, you don't need to give up. If you're still interested, you can keep on digging. And that's my whole disclaimer, so now let's get started. Today we are talking about Scorpio the Scorpion. The Scorpion symbolizes deception, revenge, and defensiveness. In Greek mythology, Scorpio was sent by Artemis and Leto to kill Orion after he boasted to them that he would kill all of Earth's animals. The Scorpion won, and both creatures were put into the sky as a reminder of the dangers of uncontrolled pride. In another story, Helios' son Phaedon requested to drive Helios' sun chariot. When he did, he lost control, driving so high that the earth went cold. The scorpion then appeared and reared his tail, and Phaedon got startled and flew too low this time, burning down most of Africa. And this is a really dark story because in this one, uh, Zeus had to get involved and strike Phaedon and the chariot down with lightning, and he killed his son. So, yeah. Scorpio is ruled by Pluto, the tiny planet of transformation, death, and rebirth. Before Pluto's discovery, Scorpio was ruled by Mars, planet of sexuality, aggression, and energy output. Some say both planets rule Scorpio, and some say only one does, but both of them have traits that can also be reflected on Scorpio as an archetype. Other Scorpio traits include mystery, secretiveness, and stubbornness. Each sign is a combination of one quality, also known as a modality, and one element, and Scorpio is the fixed water sign. The fixed signs are Taurus, Leo, Scorpio, and Aquarius, and they are the signs that are most resistant to change. They are headstrong and reliable. Fixed signs take place in the middle of the season, with Scorpio being fall's fixed sign. And the water signs are Cancer, Scorpio, and Pisces, and they are sensitive, intuitive, and emotionally deep. Water is the element that appears peaceful until you get deep into it, which explains why water signs can be very nurturing to others while having a stormy and complex inner world. The body parts ruled by Scorpio are the sex organs. Scorpio is also the eighth sign of the Western Zodiac and rules the eighth house of transformation, sex, and death. All in all, Scorpio is a deep, mysterious, emotional sign that tends to succeed in occult or sexual endeavors. And thank you so much for watching this Scorpio Crash Course. Remember to check out the main series on my channel and have a wonderful day.